actually, let's let me let me break down as an illustration. It's a it's an upward spiral. Thank you, Miriam. Absolutely. There's a spiraling, an upward spiraling, like like a reverse of what you see going down the uh, <laughs> the toilet. <laughs> It's in reverse. <laughs> Crude example, but still funny. <laughs> There's experiences you give yourself based on the nature of polarity. This is confusing because the mind feels like we're only moving in one direction, forward or backwards, up or down. <laughs> no, that's not what's taking place here. This is, this, the, this is the idea, or at least this is the depiction that explains why sometimes we feel like we've traversed a particular catalyst or um, something surrounding a blockage that we may have within our energy field. It may be like, you know, um, um, discouragement or uh, something to do with our resources, responsibility, our health. Things may come back around, like you might have a problem and then you got to go back to the hospital or what have you. And it's like, I keep trying to, I, keep, I think I'm healing, but then these, this stuff happens and I keep experiencing the same um, catalysts or lessons or people come back in my life or I was dealing with this person and they cheated on me and then I dealing with this person and they cheated on me and I thought I was beyond all that. I thought I grew beyond that stuff and I thought, I think I'm, I'm not healing and I, I keep experiencing the same thing and it's like, well, look, the spiral, the spiral of evolution involves themes and energies that are still within that spectrum for you to revisit, re like things resurfacing that you've experienced before. It's just that as you evolve, as you traverse these experiences, you gather, um, you gather more strength within your emotional body to revisit these experiences and handle them a lot more balanced because you've been through them before but as you evolve as you continue to heal you're moving back and forth through these same energies and sometimes the same themes will show up again and once again i'm referring to the mind identity because it's the mind that feels well I've dealt with that before and I'm never going to see that experience again. No, no, I already been through that. I don't have to go through that no more because I already did that and what have you. It's like, beloved, these are energetic themes that you're working with. And, and being that we're moving like in a spiral, we sometimes return to the same sector within our energy field to acknowledge certain experiences. When it may come to... Um, any particular experience, one of the things that I've noticed in my particular journey is health. Me going back and forth uh, to the hospital over the years. I've dealt with that thing quite a bit, circulation and smoking and what have you. I continue to deal with these issues. It's just that each and every time I can sense a refinement in the experience. Of course. My hospital visits weren't like the first time. They weren't as intense. I didn't have a, a, hard, a harder time recovering or addressing the issues or what have you. But the themes continue to play out. It's just that we're, up, we're moving upward in trajectory and refinement in a spiral. So some things that you may have been dealing with over the years will return. Maybe in different circumstances, different people. Maybe some of the same circumstances, but the, the same distortions being revisited. It's just that as you go through those experiences, your responses to those circumstances become more refined. You have an ability to maintain more balance 
you find yourself not worried or jittery or out of balance as it used to. It didn't bother you as much as it did the first couple times. Because you're evolving and balancing yourself out. You're recognizing the distortions in your decision-making process sometimes. Examining the foundation of those emotions and the way in which you choose to continue to do things. Absolutely, Maggie, we handle the situation better. We recognize what, um, or at least the disposition that allows for a smooth transition beyond such distortions. Some things we do work through and we don't have to deal with it anymore. However, some circumstances, they return. It's just that the ego mind identity has this thing about getting discouraged. And it feels like, well, ain't nothing happening because I keep going through the same thing. And it's like, yeah, but you're, it's not what happens. It's how you respond that's different. It's not what happens in life. It's your response. Are you more mature in your response? Are you more confident in your presence? Yes, of course, more refined action is necessary. Decision-making is necessary. But the thing is, is it's necessary to realize that all of these things are happening on purpose and nothing is in vain. What happened last time, even if it was the exact same thing or scenario involving different people, there's evolution here. There's evolution here. That's what's taking place. It's just consciously it, it's necessary for you to acknowledge this evolution and not feel as if um, you're on the same show every day on repeat. It's like, nah, I mean, I know it may seem like you're in the same place each and every day, but beloved, as you increase in frequency, you're experiencing a different reality. It may look the same. It may look similar to the way things used to be. However, you have to know that you're refining, and as you refine, the reality that you exist in, the reflection that your experience is much more refined. It's a reflection of you, all the healing that you've done, different decisions, and the personality and um, characteristics of your um, present harmonic frequency have changed subtly, but they're changing. Gradually. They're changing. Each and every day is different. And to feel as if that you are not different is ignorant. Things are different. You are a different person. You do have a different emotional body right now. Based on your proactivity, the things that you've embraced and accepted and realized about yourself, the way in which you move, you conduct yourself, you view people, the, the, the energy that you radiate within your life each and every day, that has changed and it continues to change. However, this is a refinement process that moves in a spiral. Absolutely, the grounding pays off because you're you're sensitive enough to know that you're in another reality. Things are different. Yes, I've experienced these themes before, but it's not the same. Things may look the same when I get up in the morning, but consciously I'm mature enough to know that this is not the same reality as I was in yesterday. It's not. It's absolutely not. The more sensitive you are, the more you acknowledge that. The problem is when it comes to the unawakened is the ignorance of anger and fear, doubt and worry. It causes you to feel like things are the same and nothing's changing. So, of course, you, you know, start complaining and get mad and, um, you know, projecting <clears throat> judgments on aspects of self and this whole ascension thing and how it's stupid and ain't nothing happening and you know what I mean once again all this frustration is projection 
because you're seeing life through this filter of ignorance. Of course, if, of course, if there's ignorance, the ignorance of fear and doubt and worry, you're not going to see changes because you're seeing through those filters. The filters of ignorance. When you see from this place of love, love is the home of intelligence. So, of course, you're going to notice subtle differences. You're going to see the intelligence at work because you're sensitive to that intelligence. No doubt about it, Maggie. When you're in fear, it's like you're in tunnel vision. When you're operating from a place of love, you have the glasses, the intelligent goggles that you see on, and you can see the subtle changes in your external experience. You can feel the subtle changes in your emotional responses to the people around you, the things that take place in your life. So, of course, that insight and information is continuing to bubble up consciously. So you're encouraged and you know that the work that you're doing is actually working. Things are changing. I'm not waiting on such and such and uh, a public announcements to this and so on and so on. I'm not waiting on these people. My life is changing because I'm changing, not because uh, CNN said so or they, they made this news report or the drop or what have you. Like, that's not a, 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 a efficient gauge of you changing or you elevating in frequency. Once again, you're not waiting on anything. As you change, the hologram changes. And the more conscious you are, the more grounded you are, the more you recognize the changes taking place in your life. Once again, your capacity of intelligence is going to dictate the what you see, what you notice about your experience. If you're in this space of waiting for something to take place or when the ship's going to land and all this other stuff, you're going to wake up disappointed every day. Every day. Sad and waiting for somebody to prove to you that it's changing. As if you're a child and not God. When, when, when this, you said this is going to happen, Commander Ashton, when the, when the, uh, like, dog, what are you talking about? <laughs> you said it was going to happen. So, okay. <laughs> From within you. When you change, the hologram changes. That's how that works. In the mirror, when you're looking in the mirror, when you smile, you see a smile in the mirror. That's how a mirror works. That's how the hologram works. When you change, you see change. Not someone here to show you things are changing. Are you waiting for someone to prove something to you? Well, you said it was ascension, so I'm waiting. I'm, I'm wanna see, I want to see ascending. What is ascending at? <laughs> we was like, uh, okay. That... Commander asked how you said it was ascending. We ascending. Like, where, where the stuff at? Yeah, I, I can't wait to have that conversation. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> like, yeah, no, that's not, that's not, it's worse. <laughs> <laughs>